For Hack Ohio 2023, the project we developed is called H2O Biosphere Environment Analysis Network, otherwise known as H2O Beam. And our team members for this project was Brett Schaefer, Garrett Narone, Michael Erickson, and Sawyer Ramsey. Our goal for the project was to create an affordable solution for on-demand crowdsourced water quality data. We wanted to make an accurate TDS or total dissolved solid sensor with an application dashboard for viewing mapped water quality data. We wanted to be able to allow users to check for reports of water quality concerns before consuming or using water. The metric we are measuring is total dissolved solids, which are organic and inorganic materials that are dissolved in water. The TDS meter measures the conductivity of solution and estimates the TDS from that reading. TDS is measured in milligrams per liter, which is the same as parts per million. The EPA recommends that drinking water stay below 500 ppm, but the best is below 200. Our TDS sensor uses an ESP32 S3 with display. It is powered by a lithium ion battery and houses a TDS probe. The case that houses the computer, the lithium ion battery, and the probe was constructed out of 3D printed PLA plastic with help from the Innovation Studio. So for our web application, we're using a Google Maps API to generate Google Maps inside of it. And then from there, um, we're allowing users to add and remove their own markers to display um, water quality where they pinpoint their location. So when they add um, these markers, it stores um, the latitude and longitude, as well as the PPM, which is measured from the serial input of the sensor. And then when you refresh the map, any user that's connected to the server is able to see these markers, and it indicates where it is on the map, um, the level of water quality, as well as the actual um, parts per million of the total dissolved solids in the water. The impact of our project is providing access to real-time water quality information. The app fosters a sense of community collaboration. Users can work together to collect data, identify water quality issues, and advocate for necessary changes or improvements. It can also serve as a platform for local and regional environmental groups to coordinate efforts to address water quality concerns and lobby for better environmental policies and regulations in their communities. The improvements we plan to add for the future of this project is expanding the wireless capabilities and adding automatic processes as well. Improve the mobile connectivity of our devices. Uh, construct more sensors and populate the database with the information from those sensors and improve the visual indicator on the map such as a heat map would be a perfect example. Thank you to all mentors and organizers for making this an event a great success and please reach out with any questions.